Uh, overall, pleased with the scrimmage, with the exception of a uh, little bit of a hamstring issue with uh, Aaron Hester. Uh, hopefully, uh, it won't be one of great significance. Uh, we'll get him back here in a short order, but uh, I always hate to lose one of your frontline guys uh, when you're trying to get ready to play an uh, important opener against the Houston Cougars. But uh, that aside, I thought played hard. Lots of good things on both sides of the ball. Easy to see that the kids have been paying attention and wanting to please. And I just think that uh, we've got a real chance and a real opportunity to build something that can be special and uh, be a team that can be reckoned with in the first ever Pac-12 race. So I'm uh, excited about it. Lots of work to do. Uh, no way to uh, sugarcoat that. We've got lots of things we've got to get better at and get better at fast, but uh, I like where we are right now and I'm excited about the way the kids are buying into what we're uh, teaching and, and uh, they're also believing that we can have a special season. What does that do? I mean, that's a, again a position where Aaron's playing that you guys are a little thin yeah, at. Yeah, we're going to have to, we're going to have to really uh, look at, and like again, we're going to be optimistic and, and think that Aaron can be back, but uh, in the event that he can't, it's going to require some head scratching. Is it a little worrisome because Houston's so pass happy in the five wideouts on it? It's a, uh, it's a pass happy defense and uh, one that, uh, you know, you've got to be fresh for. So uh, we're going to have to put our heads together. There's enough athletes on this team to get it done. Unfortunately, if it is a significant injury that will keep him out of that game, uh, we will have ample time to have a plan for it. Is Dayton Jones just too good to play in a scrimmage like this? I mean, he was so disruptive early and then didn't get a lot more action. Well, he's like a lot of guys on this team. He's played some football, and uh, they don't need a whole lot today. It's, it's uh, nothing, no different than NFL preseason. Now, to, I'm not saying our guys are NFL ready. I'm just saying that uh, you want to get your guys to the dance. So there's a, there's a certain guy, uh, set of guys that need to get a little and, and uh, not much else when bodies are on the ground. And Dayton's in that company. And I, hope, and I hope he is that good. So can you talk about the play about, about both quarterbacks? And are you any closer to naming a starter now? I thought the, the quarterbacks were uh, good. I thought we, unfortunately, uncharacteristically, at least in this camp, had a little case of the drops. They dropped some balls. Uh, Richard probably had a touchdown pass that uh, Jordan Barrett let get away from him in, their, in his first drive. I know that uh, Josh Smith dropped one on, on Kevin uh, Prince over there on the sideline. And I also think that Nelson Rosario dropped a first down catch. And that's uncharacteristic of those guys. So we'll get that out of their system and uh, get it behind us. But for the most part, I thought the quarterbacks played well. I get irritated when they miss assignments that we've gone over and they're, they get A's in the classroom and they come out here and, and somehow it doesn't translate to the uh, actual testing area. And so we've got to uh, continue to make sure that there's not so much that the saturation gets where they can't remember what to do on the field. There's some easy things that they have all the right answers to when I'm in there asking them on the board. But, uh, the professor has to take responsibility for that, not necessarily the people. i got to make sure they know what they're doing. That drive that uh, Richard had, you guys ran the ball probably like eight, nine times in a row. How many of those were design runs? How many did he, did he check? Well, they were uh, all design runs. There were some times where he checked to a more optimal look, but uh, they're all design runs. We wanted to see if we could be physical, and it was a it was a great drive for our offense. Now I got to look and see why our defense was able to be run against like that. Uh, I, I I win this game every year, but but I I also lose it every year. So I've got to make sure that everybody's getting where they need to be. Kevin, make the wrong read on that play where the defense got in the backfield so quickly when you're kind of in this area. I, I just think that uh, it, the play required a check, and we didn't get the check. And, and he's got to see that, that the check is necessary. When you're analyzing your quarterbacks, how much do you take into consideration what Richard does with the twos versus what he well, does with the Well, I, I, we, we watch that, but I, I move it around enough in practice to know that Richard's comfortable with the ones. I put him in there with the ones today. And I do almost every practice, and so I don't. I, I'm not weighing their performances based on who's in the game. They're all in there with with good players, and, and uh, they've also played. So uh, I don't have to worry about if someone's going to go out there and get stage fright. Neither one of these guys is in that category.